Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, today we have a solar generator, the Blue Eddy EB150. This has 1,500 watt hour and 1,000 watt of usable wattage. The way you think of the uh, watt hour, just kind of think of this as the gas tank of the generator. So this one has 1,500 watt hour. That means you can pull 100 watt for 15 hours. You see it? So you can pull a thousand watt for one and a half hour. So that's how you kind of figure that out. We're going to be doing a review on this. This is, uh, if you live like in an apartment, townhome, high rise, if you're in a hotel and you need power, you can't run a generator. So something like this comes in real handy. If you have uh, noise regulation or you're indoor where you can't have the regular gas generator outdoors so this works out good in uh, areas where you really need that power especially if someone needs to need power for a life and death situation um, like you're running some kind of heart monitor or something these comes real handy for that because you can run them indoors you can't run generators indoor but you can run these indoor all right let's get it out of the box and okay guys this is how it comes in the package inside the box. Real nice packaging. Should be uh, real safe when you get your uh, solar generator. You got the manual on top. Blue Eddy, that's your warranty card. And the warranty. Okay, it says the power station, 24 months. The solar panels, if you get solar panels, you can buy these with solar panels. Uh, it's, tw it's one year. Accessories, adapters, uh, it's one year. This is the warranty card for this. So 24 months for the power station, two years. And if you get the solar, it's one year. And the accessories it's talking about is right here. So in order to charge this on the, uh, in your regular um, house plugs, you'd use this power supply to convert the power from your house to the DC power that this needs, okay? This is a real nice, well-built power supply. Here's the plug, you just plug that in right here. So you plug this side into the wall then you plug this into the solar generator and get it charged. This one right here, it comes with this cable so you can use solar panels to charge it. MC4 connectors and then this pin connector right here goes in the front. Let's get these out of the way. Okay guys, it's 38 pounds, so it's not light. You know, it, it's, it's kind of heavy, but it's better than not having any power, right? So on the front, it comes with a regulated 12 volt. So with this plug right here, you can run like your small coolers, refrigerators, because it's regulated power, you get like 13.5 regulated power. You have one, two, three, four USB, five volt USB, and a 45 watt USB-C. This is where you would plug your uh, chargers. So you have two ways. You have the, you got the wall plug and solar panel plug. You just pop this in here and you'd hook up some solar panels. We're gonna check that out. It's not real sunny today, so I don't know if we're gonna get full capacity from the solar panels, but that's, that's another thing you have to think about these. When it comes to uh, emergencies, the first thing we lose, at least in my state, is the sun. You know, hurricane, snow, solar panels are covered. Um, you have to think of that. So if you're gonna get one of these in a power outage situation, make sure you 
put some thought into how am I going to recharge this every day if it's an emergency situation. Because usually in hurricanes, thunderstorms, snowstorms, there's no sun. So maybe if you try to use this in conjunction with a generator so you can use this at nighttime and then during the day charge it back We're using a generator. We're also going to see if we can use a generator to charge this up and what happens, okay? So we're going to do a solar charge, the wall charge, and we're going to use a backup generator to charge it up. So the reason I say that is if it's a storm or hurricane, we usually use power. We usually lose power for about three to maximum I've seen it is 10 days and no power. So if you got one of these and there's no sun, no power, and this is your only source of power, you might be, you might be stuck. I'm gonna compare this real quick to a generator also. Let's, let's continue with the uh, showing the generator. So this is your power button right here. You'd hold it down. You see, power's on. This is your DC switch. You'd hold that down. Turns on this plug right here, okay? And all the DCs. Hold that down again, and that will turn on your AC plug, which is located on the back, you have two plugs, 110 volt plugs, and this is your exhaust fan to keep it cool. And that's the another one right here that sucks air in to keep it cool as well. It's not too much going on. This is like a nice aluminum, and this is hard ABS plastic, real sturdy build. I mean, it's solid, you know. If you leave it on for a couple minutes, it will automatically go off. This one only has about half charge. I want to compare this to a regular 1000 watt generator because this one it has 1000 watt. You can probably run 900 watt continuous with this. So I'm going to get a generator that's comparable to this. Let's set this up. This thing is heavy. okay, guys. So here you go. 1000 watt solar generator. 1000 watt gas generator. So you can see the size. They're really close in size. This would be your perfect combination having a gas generator for the day and a solar generator for the night. So if you're in a place where they said, hey, you cannot have a generator running at night, use this, charge that, use this during the night. During the day, switch to your gas generator and you have the perfect combination I'm gonna see if this will charge that let's uh, weigh both of them and see what we get okay guys so I got the max out the EB 150 blue Eddy on a scale let's go ahead and spin this around 40.2 okay and let's compare that to a 1000 watt generator. Yeah. 32.2. All right, so. Okay guys, I just plugged it in. There's a little green light that comes on right here. Okay, and there's a fan. So it is ventilated, forced ventila ventilation. It's not passive. Okay, let's spin it around. And while it's off, I'm just gonna plug it in, see if that turns on the, okay. Kicked it, it kicked on the fan a little higher and the plug turned red. So you know it's charging. I'm getting 214 watts, guys. 214 watts, that's pretty cool. I wish it had a timer to, sh to show the, uh, how long it would take. Okay, let's see if that's the max. Yeah, it's charging right about 214 watts. That's the peak. Okay, let's put it on some solar and see what we get. Okay guys, we got the Blue Eddy set up over there. We have this solar panel. It's a 330 watt solar panel at 46 volt. Okay, so we're gonna try to plug it into the Blue 80 and see what we get. 
Okay, so we got these, this connector hooked up to the uh, solar panel. We're gonna do the exact same test while it's off. Just go ahead and connect it. Okay, so it's on solar charger now. We're getting 289, 298, 300. Oh, she's charging away. This 300 watt, 330 watt panel. That is not bad. Look at that, almost 311. 15, 314. That's a very, very good charge control, MPPT charge control in this thing. Wow. You can go all the way up to 500 watts with this um, solar generator. So you could charge this up real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. It was about halfway. I'm just going to let it charge. Seems like it's charging faster this way. Okay guys, so we're gonna be testing some real world products like a vacuum, a fan, you'd use probably if you went camping. Vacuum if you're somewhere and you wanna just uh, vacuum up something, clean your car, see if you could do it with the EB150, Blue Eddy, a small microwave and a heater. I'm only gonna run this heater on 750, 500 watts. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up. And so let's start with the uh, small fan. i hook that up. I'm plug this in right here. Okay, so you can, let's see if you can't use the fan. It's on one, about 84 watts. Pretty cool. Let's put it on two. Right about 112. Three. Now let's go ahead and run the vacuum. Turn it all on. Okay guys, you saw that. Just like the same, you'll be able to run this for about three hours. Okay? Now, Let's see if you can get some food ready with this. Let's plug in the microwave and let's hit one minute. Okay, micro is pulling right at 1,042. You'll be able to run this for one hour and I don't think it will take any more than that. It's right at its max. One and a half hours, because this is 1,500 amp power. So you'll be able to run this one and a half hour. How much time do we have left? One second. Okay, so there you have it. The Blue Eddy can run a microwave. So if you're stuck in some apartment somewhere, you can use this to warm some food. Okay, let's get all this out of the way so we can overload it. Okay guys, so we got the Blue Eddy set up. I'm gonna see uh, exactly where it overloads. Okay, let's get this test started. Turn this on. What do we got? Nothing yet. Let's turn the light on. Let's go to, turn some light on. You can see the light coming on over there. You see it's pulling right at 245 watts. 
let's see what it's pulling on the kilowatt meter right about the same so this this one and the one in the back i'm using is exactly it's it's uh, correct let's go up to 500 I hear that fan came on. Okay. Let's take it up to a thousand. One thousand. Let's see where it overloads. Okay, so it's at one thousand fifty right now. Let's go a little more. One thousand two. Oh, there you go. So right at 1,200 something, it got the overload. Okay. Very nice. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay. So you see, uh, that's pretty good. The Blue Eddy is actually, it, has been a it went up there. The Blue Eddy EB150. I really like this uh, solar generator. You have the ability to charge it on solar. You can charge it on uh, regular house power or you can use a generator to charge this one so you can run this at night during quiet hours or times where you can't run a generator. This thing will run all kind of thing. We're gonna keep testing it. This was just the first test. I'm gonna keep testing it over the, the months, keep running it. I'll run it on the RV, I'll see what that, that, that comes out like. This was just the first kind of real world test. Okay guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye.